It is a new day. I did a couple of videos before the sun rose and now I'm headed to get a full body checkup, including having a camera stuck down my stomach through my throat. But the good thing is I'll be asleep then. So I'll be put to sleep that is. So we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, I arrived. I finished and they even gave me a hot red tea and a snack. Okay. Wow, didn't expect this. So apparently I threw up during the upper stomach, the stomach, um, when they put the camera down my throat. <laughs> and I could feel it when I woke up and my throat was hurting a bit. It was a weird experience because after they put the injection into my arm, I kept my eyes open and I just heard beeping as I was keeping my eyes open. And then a person comes and tells me that it's over. Like, I didn't even realize that I was asleep. I was, it felt like I was awake the whole time. Oh my gosh, that was weird. I couldn't sense any passing of time. That was strange. That was the, this is very different from sleep, definitely. Apparently I have some inflammation in my stomach lining. Gastrotitis or something like that is the official name. But uh, he said it's nothing to worry about and probably people, a lot of people live with it uh, to that level. It's not so bad, so don't really have to worry about it. Time for lunch, Gangnam Gyoza. I'm gonna have the dumplings because my friend recommended this. The other stuff looks good too, but I'll go with her recommendation. This looks good. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. I'm back at the Muji store. I came here several days ago. I'm here to buy more socks. Bought six more socks. These socks are so good. This is melon cream soda. Melon soda with ice cream on top. Let's see what it tastes like. I did not expect that. The melon soda has pretty much no sugar and the soft serve ice cream is not very sweet so this is not that sweet at all. Pretty interesting combination. It's sweet on the bottom after you drink all the white. Here it's sweet but I prefer the ice cream cafe latte, ice cafe latte with ice cream on top. This is under a huge intersection in Gangnam. Just a whole bunch of stores in the basement. One thing I noticed is that when people are crossing the streets, people stop for the cars. The cars don't stop for the people. It's the opposite of Toronto, Canada. Over there, cars always stop for pedestrians, but not over here. Cars come first, not people. The back of my throat is still hurting. I'm pretty sure it's because they shoved that camera down my throat. I'm so glad I was asleep and throwing up instead of being awake and throwing up because Oh man, that would have been, that would have been bad. The best kind of fruit, fruit cut by grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> These peaches are huge. They're so good compared to the Canadian ones. <laughs> Going to have dinner with my dad. Not exactly sure where it is. It's 
through this hall, I guess. He knows where he's going. All right, we're here. Look at this turtle. You cook the meat on top of its shell right here. The fire is underneath here. The turtle shell is cooking the meat. So the oil flows down to the tail over here. Future Paul speaking here. Just want to say that I was so impressed with the medical checkup center because you get this wristband and you use it to open a locker to put your clothes in and to get into a gown. But that wristband is also used for every single station to get checked and when you scan the wristband on this pad they your name pops up and there's just a list of people in in line it was just so organized because after you come out of that testing whether it was ear testing with headphones or eye testing or bmi body weight and all height testing uh, the person at that there's a all these people who work there they just direct you to the next place to go to and so you're just directed right to the next they're just so efficient man like everyone's so efficient it's just mo moves like a smooth well-oiled machine and it was just very impressive i was i mean i don't think they have places like that in canada it, they would even if they did it would it would be like more than twice as slow so Koreans, they just, they're, they got their shit together for these kind of things. I'm sure Japanese too, according to what I've experienced in Japan. But yeah, that was, that was an interesting experience. So I will see you in another Korea vlog tomorrow.